So the, the first exercise that I consider extremely important is the center stretch. So basically what we do is that we open our feet wide and we keep the feet in a 45 degree angle. And from here we're gonna deeply bend the knees and we're gonna use the forearms to make contact with the inside of the knee as I really bring my hips low. And then from here I can use my arms to push my knees back. So this center stretch is gonna be like the foundation of all the other uh, dynamics for flexibility purpose. So I actually like to spend some, some time on this, in this position. So if you can even hold it for one minute, I think it's a good idea just to get your body used to being in this low stance that then eventually can transfer into kibadachi or any other form that you might use on your training. But then once you are here, then what we want to do is to start stretching and opening the hamstrings. So we can actually use the hands. And I like to use the fingertips just for the balancing purpose and not for depending on my hands, okay? So you can use the fingertips and then choose one side and just bend that knee and extend your leg as you keep your toes down making contact with the ground and stretching the top part of your foot. So from here, you can just hold the position, stretching that hamstring and stretching the knee that is bent, okay? And then, gentle, you can just come back to your center stretch and push the knees again to the side. Good, open up, and when you do that, make sure that you're keeping your spine straight. So don't let it round forward. Actually bring your middle back in and make your shoulders roll back and your neck become longer. And then from here, we can just transfer now the same for the hamstring stretch on the other side. Okay, so I think it's important to spend time on the stretching positions, okay? Because think about a rubber band, all right? You don't want to just stretch the rubber band and let it go. You want to stretch the rubber band and hold it in the position for a while that way, once you release the rubber band, you're gonna realize that the rubber band now, it's a lot longer because it's now used to being further. So it's kind of like the same deal with the body, you know? So we want to spend at least one minute in, in each position if you can. And then from here, you're gonna take it back to the center stretch, okay? Once again, use your forearms and open. And then the number three after center stretch and hamstring stretches is gonna be your lunges. So we're gonna go now and pick one side, turn the body. You want to fully extend your back foot, raise the heel. And then what you can do is actually you can place your palm down in front of your front leg. You want to make sure that the alignment of the heel, it's right underneath the knee, all right? So don't let the knee go beyond that heel. So you get that alignment between the hand, the heel and the knee. And then from here, we can go into a twist by using the back arm all the way up and making a straight line into the ceiling as you look up, you breathe deep, and then you hold the position. And then from here, slowly, then you can bring it down. You can rotate to the center and then go back to that center stretch one more time. Then open a little bit further as you keep repeating the center stretch, you're gonna feel that your body is giving in more and more and more every time, that's the point. And then we do the same on the other side. So we transfer for the lunge, we completely extend that back leg, put the palm down, make sure now the hand is right under the shoulder, the heel is right under the knee, everything is aligned. And then as you inhale, you're gonna rotate the body and look up into the ceiling and point up and hold the position and open, rolling that shoulder back, breathing deep. Then when you had enough, slowly you're gonna bring it down. You're gonna come back to the center one more time for that center stretch and push. And then if you wanna test it, you just bring now your body up, keeping your entire body straight without depending on your hands, opening your chest, you count into four, three, two, and one, push it all the way up, and release your legs and relax. So I consider that this little sequence of the center stretch, hamstring stretch, and the lunge with the twist stretch are fundamental 
as, as a daily routine that you should be doing at least twice or three times a day just to keep your, your hips and your legs limber for, for kicking and falling in any martial arts practice.